felt like we watched him play Wolf, and then game two, or the second game, that we were like, okay, let's go to Orange County now, and we saw that he switched to Athena. It was like, oh, maybe he can't see what. But like, I, so I was wondering whether or not he thought he would go to Athena the first game or Wolf. Yeah, he'll, he'll usually go Wolf again. Canine okay, pitching up his tent, getting these blasters going. Definitely one of Wolf's best strengths in this game is uh, that blaster. Uh, it's pretty funny. I actually think Wolf is the best projectile character in the game. Which is like, it's funny because he's a spacey and he's not really like a projectile character. He only has like really one projectile. But he also has that reflection too, which is really nice versus uh, in a projectile war. But Slayer's just trying to get in here and trying to bob and weave through all these blasters. He's got to be really, really careful. That blaster does do quite a bit of damage. Okay, there's a forward air offstage situation here. Turn up. Gonna try to cover that high recovery, but Canine just going straight to the ledge here. And the corner pressure from Keith, that's where it gets really, really crazy. Because the full cancel back here is so, so hard to deal with. There's a cross up Nair. And Canine returning with his own cross up Nair as well. There's a forward tilt. Canine trying to get that high back air. Not gonna quite work out, but the down smash on ledge. Gonna cover the roll as well. Such a great tool. Both player shields looking quite low. Wow, that peak. Forward air connected, that could have been Curtin's for K9. But Slayer's ending up getting the grab. K9 just trying to defuse some pressure here. Oh, air dodges through all the aerials. K9 swung him right back out with the forward tilt. Beautiful tech to the Nair punish as well. Dash attack not going to quite kill off the top. Pretty big boundaries, but that back air should do it. Slayer's going to take this, uh, the first lock. It's game number one. We saw a lead here. 125, but catching the spot dodge. K9 with the up smash. Okay, so Slayer's coming back here. Yeah, like I said, that, that pressure from all those aerials, they just can put them out so low because of float, like just float cancel in general. It, it can be pretty overwhelming at times. But both players are doing a really good job of just crossing each other's shields up, making their like approaching aerials as safe as possible. Yep, I like the double jump and he delayed the Nair as well, which is really good stagger pressure coming out from K9. Oh, he jumps right over the forward air. Okay, K9, small get up, slow things down with the blaster, but Slayer's still all over him with these full cancel back here. And there's the forward air finding its mark, and man, right at the edge, dying at about 100%, and that's the power of Peach. Peach can kill you so, so early. I mean, it's not like ridiculously early like Wolf, but it, I mean, it's a pretty decent amount. Dying at about 100%, a pretty strong move. And it, like the one thing about Peach Warrior too, it covers so much area. Ooh, are you dead? Oh, that was so close. K9 was maybe like up another five or 10%. He was just dead off that conversion. And that's the scary thing, like Peach Warrior, it's so powerful. And there's like a lot of moves that combo into the Peach Warrior. It, it's so crazy. And, and the counter as well. Slayer is looking like running away with this game number one. Can K9 seal the stock out? No, it doesn't get the juggle. And here's Slayer. He's pressuring the corner, but K9 fights his way out with the dash attack. Oh, but the forward tilt, not even going to take it. Town and City, these big boundaries really helping Slayer out. Okay, but the back air connects here for K9. Last stock for both players, but K9 sitting at 127%. Can he make this comeback? Can he open Slayers up? Get this opening? Ah, it's it's going to look really difficult. Slayers, is, Slayers' movement is looking really on point right now. Lord Tilt going to get punished, but only Sour hit. Neutral air. Oh, tries to get the grab. Dash attack doesn't fully connect, but the float cancel Nair not going to do it. Oh, but the turn up. Gets him off stage. Oh, no punish. Lord Tilt? Yeah, oh dang, that was like super dead. <laughs> there's like no, no, there's like, it's crazy because some of the throws don't have like the freeze animation. It's so weird. Right? I yeah. feel like not, not every time that it goes off stage and kills that like, you see the animation. Yeah, it's so weird. But sometimes you I see it a lot with. And it doesn't kill. Right, right. Yeah, I, I think the animation, it doesn't like count DI. It's really weird. You think it could. Whoa. No, I mean, there's moves that like don't have speed spots and you hit it. It's usually just like, oh, the final kill kind of thing. But it does proc with sweet spots too. Like there's some moves that like just close in, like close up, and have their own little cinematic thing. Like if you hit someone at zero percent with uh, limit cross slash, it'll still be like the zoom. Right, like the. Yeah. yeah. Or uh, little max uh, or smash attack, I think, or force smash attack. Oh, are you dead? 
Yes, you are. And zero to death here coming up. Yeah. That was, uh, and you saw right there, that, that was really good adaptation from Slayer because the last time he got that situation, he went into the double jump corridor, and K9 didn't DI up, he just DI'd like down and out. But that time, Slayer just kept floating. He was already in his float, got the down air. I was just like, you're gonna DI down and out. I'm just gonna like hit this down air and just keep moving forward with my float without double jumping and then smack you with the corridor. And it's still comboed. So now Slayer is up an entire stock pretty much. Not quite lapping in percent, but already has tacked on quite a bit of damage here. K9 trying to get this opening. Trying to seal out this stock with Slayer now lapping him in percent, and this is looking so grim. Almost getting that turn up snipe. And if he got if he gets hit by a turn up off stage, that's pretty much done for K9 or whatever stock he's currently on. Slayer using that float. Getting a little tricky with his uh, landings there. And Slayer is just, it looks like it's so hard to hit. And the thing about Wolf is he has so many big hitboxes forward smash. Gonna connect here for K9. Gonna get this first stock off the board here. Really great wolf string though. 43% just off of that falling quarter. Usually the uh, the ideal combo starter for a wolf. So really great job for K9 utilizing all that damage output. This is the, something both characters definitely have though. Both these characters just pump percent out. And already 92% on Slayers. K9 did such a great job bringing the second stock right back. Oh, great though. He's off stage. No jump and barely not making it back. Can K9 close out this stock without taking too much damage? We'll try to get the up smash. And Slayer's trying to punish that, and it can be very, very difficult to punish. Uh, just Wolf smash attacks in general, they have so little ending lag. Yep, but that full cancel bear also a very tough thing to punish. K9 trying to get that up smash out of shield, but he gets the run back, gets the other up smash. Now tied up one stock apiece, and we saw what K9 can do with one falling pair. And Slayers definitely knows that, knows he's going for it, gets that shield grab. Oh, but here it is. Commissar gets triple fair here, gets another reset, tries to um, get the harden air to finish off the combo, which is optimal in terms of like damage and position. You want you want them like more out than up when you send anyone off stage. Because when whenever you send someone up, they have a lot more mix-ups in terms of air drift. So you always want to send them like as down and out as possible. Okay, the ledge here, Slayer's ledge trap. Gonna kind of fade back with the back here. Not gonna commit too hard, just control that center stage. Really, really good coming off the Slayer's turn up tonight. But the forward air is gonna trade and a favorable trade for Slayer's. Slayer's will take that 2-0 over here. Yeah, I mean, really, really good set there. I mean, Peach versus Wolf, two very popular slash.